Hi, I'm Callum Ferguson and you're watching CATV. Uh, we're here with Bob Willis who's absolutely capitulated the Australians, one of the best bowlers of all time. Statistically that can be backed up too. Bob, how do you see this series unfolding? The batsmen are going to have a very good time of it. Pitches are going to be flat, we're going to see lots of runs scored, mostly by your lot I'm afraid. Yep. As we saw at Cardiff, uh, the skill's going to be getting 20 wickets in the match. Um, I don't think England are well enough equipped in the bowling department to bowl Australia out twice too often. So I'm predicting a 2-1 Australia series win. OK, that's disappointing. I thought you might have slandered the Aussies with this opportunity. But just before you go, your favourite moment as a player in an Ashes series against Australia. Just put, us, put aside the false humility and tell us something that really made your blood boil. Oh, well, uh, there's been great uh, rivalry throughout. Obviously, I had my uh, moment in the sunshine at Headingley in 1981, but uh, great rivalries. Now, hang on one second. Don't downplay it. Eight wickets for how many? 43. Yeah. yeah. yeah Thank yeah. you very much. But uh, Beefy's 149 not out helped us along, and then he got uh, century at Old Trafford and five for one at Edgbaston. But... Uh, Played in series where we were on the wrong side of things as well in 74-5 uh, where we came across that Australian Sheila Lillian Thompson. Lillian Thompson, tell us more about her. Oh, she was a pretty ugly Sheila. She had a <laughs> moustache, <laughs> long blonde hair. Yeah. Well, that sounds like Merv Hughes and Shane Warne had a child. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not saying anything about Shane Warne's off-the-field activities. No, either am I. Well, thank you for your time. You're a legend. We appreciate it. This is Cricket Australia with Bob Willis. If you haven't been knighted, you should be. All the best. Thank you.